the H hello okay, this is my review of the HTC uh, tattoo I've had it for three weeks and uh, my first impressions well it's a, a very solid phone it's a great solid phone this is on orange network okay um, it's got if you look at the review you're probably thinking about getting one the plug at the top here is excellent it will pl plug into uh, most of your headphones headsets and the USB connector here is good as well um, when you connect this to your computer, it actually uh, acts like um, um, a storage uh, data card. Um, so what you actually do is you can drag and drop files into the SD card on the phone or take them out, whichever you want. It's really, really easy. It's great. You connect it. it you just use it as you would do a, a drag and drop um, a storage card. Right? If you have a USB storage pen, you, that's what you should think of a phone as being. Um, and you can um, put whatever you want and that works fine for me exactly what I wanted uh, some phones obviously come with set software that uh, allows you to do all sorts of uh, addresses and formations this, 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 this doesn't although you can download from the internet uh, packages if you if you want um, ok so it's a solid phone you've got all the keys at the bottom here which you've probably already seen the d-pads and everything it basically fundamentally has seven um, home screens here um, there's some some debate I would say from what I've heard reviews about the screen being uh, uh, sensitive enough or not sensitive enough I think the screen is absolutely fine I think it really is spot on very very sensitive for what I want anyway the seven home screens here you can customize each and every one of them this is my home page these are text messages and I get what function I really really like is that you can just flick the text messages um, sorry not just gone a little bit too sensitive you can flick these and you just go to the next text message if we go along to the next section uh, my next uh, screen is the uh, emails uh, I've set this up on a pop3 account so you can set up pop3 you can flick through your emails if you want any particular email you can tap on it and up it comes you can read it menu section here works really great there it is pops up at the bottom so you can decide what you want to do delete or you can uh, email somebody you can compose uh, take that away, press the home screen and it comes back to that very very quickly. These buttons I use quite a lot. The D-pad will allow you also to scroll through. Here we have a selection of photographs and phone people for quick dialing. Here you can press the menu, it will come up with a lot of options. Um, on here we'll go back to the home screen. You've got the camera. Some criticism I think about the camera before I got this phone. It's not a fantastic camera but if you press the menu there is all sorts of functions and settings ISO, um, light, brightness, contrast uh, it's got a zoom on it, there you go you can power up the zoom by just doing your finger or you can use the d-pad to go up the zoom whichever you really want if you get the camera in, in the right conditions I think it takes a great little photograph and I don't have any problems with the camera at all really night time, yes there is problem because, depending on, on the lighting in the room messages here you go if you want to do a text message this is the keyboard I've got you've got a choice of three different types uh, my fingers are not necessarily uh, very thin uh, fingers but I'm able to use this quite successfully uh, and one function I think is fantastic about this is that it, uh, yeah, you turn it sideways it goes to the security keyboard um, and there you go you can um, tap whatever you want predictive text and everything is fine up here you can just uh, select it on that one and there it goes into the keyboard you can turn it back and you can use the other type of keyboard as well you can set this to whatever you want again you go to menus and then uh, you've got all your choices and options press the home key it goes back to the home screen and, and away you go um, if you press that it has an email it goes the email functions depending on what you want to see one little thing I think is pretty neat about this is what happens if you have a text there's a little screen here you pull that down this comes up so across the top here you'll have a little message and it will say that you've got a, um, a text or you've got an email or you've missed a call. If you just swipe that down, it's like a list panel that will tell you what it is and you just flick it back with one of those. Brilliant little touch. Bluetooth uh, is on this as well. We'll go to the next one. Here's my Bluetooth. It's on orange and um, because it's a HTC tattoo, you're looking at also Android operating system. It has GPS. So you uh, activate the GPS, you can see it, I've got my Google Maps there. And if you press that, it'll come to Google Maps. Press the menu, 
it'll come up to my location you press that uh, it's searching for it and it will find my location which is there and you've got zooms here and you can see how quick it is you can zoom in and out all the rest of it so you just press the home thing and back you go browser my home page is set to google um, you have to play around with the phone obviously to to, to um, have your own desirable settings and what you want but these can be when you press on that and you can get rid of it if you want to you can leave it there you can change it as i say you can customize all these screens um, and i think they were pretty good you press that here it'll come up to all your applications uh, you can go through here you can scroll down decide what ones you want to put onto the home screens or not take that away press this one it'll come down to your phone okay it's just a case of dialing it it is a responsive screen one thing about the Bluetooth, just disengage the DPS. There you go. One thing about the Bluetooth is this is an Android 1.6 operating system on these phones, and I have since found out that although the Bluetooth pairs up well with a handset, it doesn't um, allow you to transfer music or photo files from one mobile phone to another. It will find the phone, it will locate it, it will connect with it, but it will not let you transfer files at all. I've since found out that on the 1.6 operating Android system, uh, it uh, it doesn't do that. On the 2.0 new Android system operating system, um, it does. So why on earth do they even bother putting that, allowing it to locate other phones, and but not allowing you to transfer files? I really don't know. That's not a good point for me. The SD card is under the case at the back. If you wanted to change it regularly, I would say it's a bit of a tough job. The case, which is a good point, is not easy to get off. Um, when it does come off that's fine uh, it goes back on very easily but it's very difficult to get off so you want to change the SD card which is inside there um, you have to be prepared to play around with the case good point I think that the case doesn't actually come off um, very easily D-pad is fantastic I think it works very very quickly it's solid foam my first impressions are three weeks and it's great it does the job that I want email is easy to set up browser is fine uh, I might do another uh, review number two and uh, go into some of the functions a bit more depth. Well, our initial ones are um, uh, are pretty good. That's the HTC tattoo on my review number one, and there we go. Back to my home screen. That's it.